What's up guys? Thanks for joining me. My name is Mike and this is another instalment on the house renovation videos. Today's job is to fit in a bar shower. So I'll just turn you around. The tools you will need, it's obviously your shower, various allen keys, pipe slice, tape measure, Phillips screwdriver, belt level, hammer, grips or adjustable if you have them, fixing kits for the shower, they screw directly to the wall, drills with 5.5 drill bit for red plugs and a bit of silicon. So the first thing you'll need to do is just put some protection in the bath, just stops the bath from getting scratched while she's stood inside and obviously turn the water off. I've already turned the water off so We'll just open the taps, drain the water out, and then pull these push fit caps off. I'll just put you down here. You can see exactly what I'm going to do. So, the first thing you'll need is the fixing kits. They literally just slide over the pipes all the way to the tiles, like so. Then with a pencil or pen, this is how I always do mine. I just do a little mark right at the front. Slide them back. Take your pipe slice where the line is just slightly back from that line and cut the excess pipe off and the same on the other side like so Now the main thing that you want to do is to make sure that your pipes are centralised correct. The majority of bar showers are 150mm centres. So as long as 150mm centre, the shower should fit on. So you take your first wall plate. Mark your hole. This hole's a bit big there, so we can only get one in there. That's fine. With your drill bit, just press slightly until you hear a little noise. That's the tile. No, the drill bit won't slip. Once you've done that, Get your red plugs, put it in the wall like so, and take your screw, put your screw in, just give it a little tap. You always want to try and tap your plug past the tile, saves it splitting then you see. Take your wall plate. Screw in, not all the way, you could crack your tile. Take your screwdriver and then nip it up. And then just repeat for the other side. You obviously want these to be level. These should be level because I buried these in the wall whilst I was first fixing, so they're pretty good. Make sure they are level and just mark this side. Drill 
Julie Holden. Then red plugs. If you can, you want to try and get it into the wall behind. Like so. Wall plate. Not all the way again. Just screw it up. In with your spanner or grips. There's some little flat bits on here, so I'm gonna get your grips on there. Just tighten it up. Like so. And then I would like to put a bit of silicon inside here just fills the, fills the hole up don't go mad just a little bit it just stops any um it'll just stop any water getting into the wall that's all doesn't stop doesn't serve any purpose apart from stopping the water And take your plates, cover plates, and you should screw over them like so. Like that. Now the shower. So the shower has these rubber oh, um, rubber washers in. So you've got to make sure the hot's always on the left, cold's always on the right. So make sure you do it the correct way up. Start it off on that one. Start it off on that one. So now, because I am using grips, I don't, obviously don't want to scratch that. So I just put a bit of blue roll over there and just tighten it in. Like so. So now that is securely fastened, <coughs> excuse me, to the wall. The next step you want to do is to fit the riser bar. Now this one just slots over there, 
give it a little push. Slacken this little grub screw off with your Allen key. Like so. And just simply, oop, can maybe fiddly these sometimes. There we go. Let's get that, doesn't have to be tight at the moment. Just get it in. And the next step. is you have to secure this to the wall using a plate. So, I'm gonna get you, make sure your bar's level. Just mark around. So that's where it's going to go. So this particular shower comes with this kind of plate. So just put it round so you can just see the pencil line pretty much. Obviously mark it, your hold where the screws are going to go. And then again with your drill. Drill your holes. Plugs. Just start this screw off gently. Again, not all the way. Same again with that one.
but it doesn't matter. So now that's done, I need to thread this piece on here. It comes with um, a little cover plate. You can't find. My fault, I've done it wrong. That first, then that. And just simply push that piece into there. And then just secure it with your Allen key again. Now this one has an adjustable head, which is pretty good. So just push it up till you get your desired height. And I'll go for mine there. And just turn this here and it'll lock it all in. Like so. There you got your Rainfall head just simply goes onto there. Again, it's got a washer inside. Make sure the washer's in correctly. Doesn't have to be super tight. This can just do it with your fingers. So that's there. Make sure you get that where you want it before tightening everything completely up. Now it's time for the shower hose. Again, it's just a normal shower hose. A little black washer goes into there. And this just fastens to the underside of the shower. Like so. On the other side, I always like to feed this behind the back of the shower, it just keeps it out of the way. Rubber hook, rubber washer, again into there. This is for the shower head. Again, it doesn't have to be mega tight. And it just clips into there. <laughs> and that's how to fit a shower. Thank okay. you.